While Tulsa, Oklahoma flies flags at half staff, mourning the victims of last week's Texas church shooting, thousands file into what is billed as the largest gun show in the world. Can you take it? There you go, half fun. In the parking lot of this exhibition center, there are license plates from dozens of states. Visitors come to buy and sell guns. Everyone we spoke to told us the same thing. The U.S. should not pass laws restricting their Second Amendment rights to own guns. It's the person behind the gun. We need to get back to God before we need anything else. So, you know, there are lots of problems because people don't enforce the current statutes. Uh, really enforce the laws. Uh, for anyone that breaks the law, we should stand behind it and convict them and stick with that. We weren't allowed to take our cameras inside of the gun show, but I did go inside and walk around. And what I saw were a lot of hunting rifles, antique guns, and a handful of AR-15s, which are assault rifles. A bill banning assault weapons was introduced in the U.S. Senate last week, just days after the Texas shooting. And last month after the mass shooting at a Las Vegas concert, legislation was introduced banning bump stocks, which allow guns to fire more rapidly. So far this year, there have been more than 300 mass shootings in the U.S., defined as those which involve four or more deaths or injuries in a single incident. But despite that, passing tougher gun laws could be tough. Have you ever shot before? Once. Well, we're going to fix that today. In states like Oklahoma, guns are part of the culture. Dave King has been shooting competitively for decades and now teaches classes like this one. King says he doesn't see either side in the gun debate finding common ground. Because the way we see it out here, the way the voters see it, is you're trying to restrict our Second Amendment rights. To us, this is a civil rights issue. We have the right to defend ourselves. A right King says he wants to preserve for his grandchildren. Diane Estabrook, Al Jazeera, Tulsa, Oklahoma.